Well done, Edward. <laughs> well, that extra practice has really paid off. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, Philip? Yes? Can we do this again tomorrow? Of course we can. Same time? Yes, great. And you've got the address of the concert hall, yes? Well, thank you for sending me that, yeah. Good. I'm so sorry, madam. Are you all right? <laughs> Luckily, it's just a mop. Ah, yes, I thought she was rather thin. Evening, dear. Evening, darling. Here's your drink. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I'm ready for this. And how was your day? Oh, um, you know. Um, I've made an appointment for you to see the neurologist. Just been a little bit concerned, you know, since the accident. Things it's are... all right. I know you worry. Well, it, it's only on the suggestion of the optician. You will go, won't you? Of course I'll go. in half an hour. OK, that's fine, Mr Armitage. Put the shoe back on now. I'll wait for a second. I do apologise. Do you need a hand with that? Sorry? Your shoe, do you need a hand? Well, that's my shoe. Uh, no, Mr Armitage, that's your shoe. Uh, thank you, Doctor. OK, Mr Armitage, could you tell me what you can see in this photograph, please? Um. <clears throat> Well, it's obviously a, a, a beach scene. Um, there's all the sand. Uh, there's a river running down to the sea. There's ducks on the river. People playing football. And what can you see up here? Well, that is the sea. OK, all right. I'm going to show you another one. Can you tell me, what can you see in this one? Hmm. Well, I mean, that's green, so that's obviously trees. But, I mean, that's an ice rink, so what's an... Ice rink doing in amongst the trees. OK, all right, thank you. Right, that's it for today, OK? We will catch the heavy traffic for at least an hour. Oh, that's good. How did it go, Doctor? Do you know what's wrong? Well, before I make a final diagnosis, I'd like to come and visit to your home. Right. And see you both in your home environment. No, no. Um, so, if you'd like to make an appointment with my secretary... Yes, of course. Um, and I'll see you in a few days. Yes, okay. yes. No, right. thank you. You have a safe trip home. Thank, thank you, you so thank you. much. Bye -bye. No, that's lovely. Bye. Thank you.
They're lovely photos. Where were they taken? Oh, yes, on, on our travels. <sighs> Philip's very fond of photography. He's won awards. Quite a few. Uh, I do have some more recent ones, though, that I, I think you might be interested in seeing. Here comes the people. Thank you. Mm. Yes. Yes, this is what I was expecting to see. Philip. The changes that you've been experiencing over the last few months, well, they're a sign of a condition called visual agnosia. Um, I, be easier, I've got a diagram here, and it will be easier if I show you. Basically what happens is, is that your eyes clearly see an object, or a person, but as the information is processed by the brain, what happens is, is that the signals go through and get scrambled. Okay, they become very, very abstract, uh, a bit like a jigsaw puzzle strewn all over the ground. Okay, so the actual image that your brain is telling you that you're seeing is completely different. Well, what you're saying does make sense. Mm. So, it's not, not terminal... Oh, no, 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 it's not terminal. This, this isn't life-threatening. I mean, this, this is a condition that people live with on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just you need to get the right help. What I would advise is that Philip attends some therapy sessions, okay, yeah, to help with the condition. He has his humming. He hums a lot to, <laughs> to help him cope. Yes, I mean, that's a very entertaining coping mechanism, but um, what I'm going to do is I will be writing a report to Philip's GP, okay? And I will explain exactly what the condition is, and I will tell the GP what therapy sessions that Philip needs. Are you okay? If you have any concerns at all, you, you can contact me. Now, I'm afraid I really must go now. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll show you out after Thank you. you. Maggie, I can't find the biscuits. Have you moved them? Maggie! You're talking to the fridge, dear. <laughs> you silly old fool. Come on. 